Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one real quick before we get into this 410 banger dove hunt. Yeah, pump action. It's not my gig and all of you that have been here for a while know that. I don't have to even say it. <laughs> it was a struggle, but we got it done. Very quickly, over at my podcast, Blind Talk Podcast, it is always linked at the top of the description below for one thing. For two, I just uploaded a podcast over turkey fall fall turkey hunting here in kansas and how it why how the reasons of why it's shut down this year first time ever no fall turkey hunting it's crazy plus over there i am uh, giving away a three-day hunt for one lucky guy to bring a buddy his wife his friend his dad his brother whatever with him for three days of hunting here at my lodge all you got to do is join the podcast. Like I said, it's always linked down below. Let's get into this one. Ooh, look at these pigeons. There's one. <laughs> First bird down's a pigeon, Judge. Woohoo! I actually had no idea that there was any pigeon here. <laughs> Holy cow! I just got here. Wow. What just happened? We have a pump action 410. Judge. That's a good dog. That's a good holding dog. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. It's flopping. Pigeon down. Pump action 410 time. This was not on yet. We'll see if she works today. Come on. Good boy. No, nope. see. Fetch it up. He does not like flopping birds. I'm going to have to tape some wings. Going to have to tape some wings on some pigeons and let them beat you in the face. Because you can't be scared of them, big dog. If it's moving, he doesn't like it. Come on, though. Smash it. Me and Judge. 410 time. You guys have been requesting this down in the comment section. I've been asking you guys, what do you want to see? What do you want me to do? And yesterday, uh, one of y'all was like, Bob, I would love to see a 410 uh, pump action dove hunt. You and Judge. And then you and Fred. I'm like, okay, we can do that. We can do that. Oh. How many bullets did I go through? Good night, Bob. Didn't hit anything. <laughs> I hate a pump action gun with a passion. Oh, there's such a pain. Oh, we got two pigeons right here, Judge. Oh, a lot blue tail feathers off of that guy. We did not shoot anything. Six, five, four shells in, buddy. Don't worry about it today, okay? You just you just stay right there. Well, I just smoked a pigeon. I don't know if this was going. I know the GoPro was not going. Drop. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good. That was a perfect shot. He was right there. Just coming right at me. Didn't care. Bleep. Put it right on him. So now I got my lead down. Uh oh. There he is. Judge. Judge. Finally. Dead bird. There's a dove. Dead bird. Yep, he's on it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh my god, look at these pigeons. Oh, I'm not going to shoot into that. I don't want to spook them all out. Oh my god, they're going to land on Judge. Look at that. I'm not going to shoot in them. Woo hoo hoo. Judge here. Judge here. Wow. They decoyed really well. Here they come back. 
I really want to come back and hunt these pigeons. I don't want to spook them too bad. Heel. Set. They, those pigeons don't even care about you, man. You missed the dove. It's still out there. I'm going to save these pigeons. I don't want to spook them out. Save them for tomorrow. <laughs> come back and actually put a decoy spread out for them. Because they are being really generous. I really would like all the pigeons to go to the other side of the field so I can finish hunting dove, come back tomorrow and hunt the pigeon. I think it'll work. We're starting to move over that way. But all I, all I know now is it only takes one mojo to decoy a flock of 100 pigeons and not five dozen full body pigeon decoys. <laughs> Come on, Judge, let's try this again. Heel, heel, right here. Sit, sit. Judge, back. There you go. Judge, ah, that was a high flying dove right there, baby. Fetch him up. Okay. This power line behind me right here, you guys can't see it, but there's about 20 doves sitting on it looking at me. <laughs> They're contemplating life, life decisions right now. Uh, but yesterday I uh, was doing deer stuff and uh, scouting some deer up around here, feeding some deer up around here. And I went by this field and it was just loaded with dove. And that was the first time I've seen it like that in a long time. Um, no, I had no clue that this many pigeons were here. No idea. Judge. Judge a boy. Judge a boy. Hello. Hi. How are you? You having fun morning? You gotta fetch him up. You gotta fetch up the floppy bird, man. Doesn't matter if it's flopping. You gotta fetch it up, big dog. Hey, judge a boy. Judge a boy. Are you watching birds? You a good boy? Yeah. He's such a good boy. His temper is just so mellow. Look, he'll put his paw up here. Dad, I love you. I love you too, buddy. They do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, Judge. He's gonna get up and fly on him. There he goes, sure enough. Ah, oh, he's out there. There we go. <laughs> here, Judge, here. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Here. Oh. The 410 is definitely not a 12 gauge. I still figured I would have smoked that bird. Um, it's been a while since I have shot any other gun other than my suppressed 12 gauge. My Benelli. You all know it's my baby. I love it. I'm so used to it. Uh, it's the first day shooting a different gun in months and months. So with it being a 410, a little slower on the shot. Uh, patterns really well. You can tell. Uh, oh shoot! Oh, oh gosh! I'm out. What in the world? Right there. Oh, they're everywhere. There we go, Judge. Holy smokes, they're flying everywhere right now. Hold it. Come on. Come on. Huh. Anyways. Drop. That's our fourth dove. Nice. We got four doves, two pidge. Going good. The dove are really starting to fly. Come on, guys. Smash it. Um, it helps the video out so much. Helps propel it. Can we please get this video over a thousand likes? Please, if I feel like it's been a year or more since I've had a video over a thousand, two thousand likes. Please, please, please make it happen, y'all. Come on, let's do it. We got Pidge right here. Um, a lot of you have seen this gun before. This is my Mossberg 500 410 pump. 
I've had it for about four years. I uh, have not used it a ton. I am not a pump action guy. If you can't tell, <laughs> uh, it just feels very uh, unneeded. Honestly, if you keep your semi-auto clean, you know, they work good. Um, I And I know the argument, I've heard it from a lot of you for a lot of years is, Bob, I'll never leave my pump action because it never fails me. It's a mechanical system. You're ejecting it mechanically. I get it. A lot more reliable, especially on those cold, cold, icy mornings where your bolt likes to freeze up, you know? I get it. A Falcon just tried to attack my mojo. Judge, that was easy. Good boy, fetch it up, fetch it up. It's flopping, fetch it up, fetch it up, hold. Oh, here, good boy, sit, good dog, oh my gosh, look at all these stuff, judge, oh man, drop, drop, drop. Well, so first off, first off today, I knew I was making the sacrifice of not bringing the 12 gauge, because I knew I would be able to limit out, um, so I made that sacrifice for the 410, first of all. Second of all, oh my gosh, a, a hawk just went across the field and kicked up its stone. Oh my, a ton of dove. Judge, there we go. Look at these dove. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Holy smokes. takes forever to load this thing. Fetch it up. I'm gonna go get this one. Fetch it up. Good boy, fetch it up. Good, he fetched it up. Good boy. A hawk skimmed the field and literally just got up a hundred dove. The other one's right here somewhere. Where are you at, buddy? Here. Oh, there's a dove right there. Decoin. Drop, drop, good boy. Dead bird. There's a dead bird right here somewhere. Where are you at? He's blending in real good. Dead bird. Oh man, here's one. What's he gonna do? He's high. Oh, he's slamming in here. Oh. Oh, I quit. See? Me and this pump deal. I'm telling you what. I might have tagged him a little bit. We're gonna have to walk him out. Judge! Let's see if he can, oh. He's dead. Boom, holy smokes. Back! See, I forget to pump it a lot. That's first issue. Judge, there's one. Let's go. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. See, he does not like them flopping birds, man. Judge, fetch him up. Good boy. That's kind of the issue, too. He's getting used to me wringing their necks and re-throwing them. Wow. Wow, wow. That is 10 dove in the bag. 10 dove. Uh, two pigeons. 410 action, baby. It's a good morning. It is beautiful. We have a southeast wind uh, at about, I would say, a steady 15 mile an hour. It feels amazing. It's sitting at probably 70 degrees, 69, 70, 71 degrees. It is absolutely gorgeous. Such a good morning for me and Judge. Trying to, trying to shoot a pump gun. <laughs> uh, do it, guys. Let's get this video. Please, I don't beg a lot for thumbs up. I know it's kind of annoying, but... This one I would like to see go a little bit, you know. I've been doing the daily uploads. Let me know if you've been liking them. Yesterday uh, was the guy who stole the deer cameras from me. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. 
uh, I've been just trying to do daily uploads um, day in the life of Bob and yesterday was just that we were managing properties came across another stolen camera found out who it was yada yada um, you get it but no I have not had any news it's the next day I still haven't heard from the landowner hopefully I hear from today I will tell you guys what happens believe me Oh, Bobby. <laughs> oh, me and this pump having issues, buddy. Having issues. I was not ready. They slammed in there. It takes forever to reload, I'm telling you. All right, let's walk these birds out, Judge. Come on. Ah. Well, we have a little downtime. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what I'm shooting. Um, I am shooting Estate. 3 inch, 11 16 ounce, 6 shot, says high velocity hunting load, ultimate in performance, not a bad shot man, uh, a couple that were close on this side, a couple on this side, man I heard the shot go smack, just smacked him, um, going good, you don't need a big show, you don't need to go spend a bunch of money on the 410, they, they pattern really good, 410's pattern very well. Judge! There we go. Oh, looks like we have a little lull again. Uh, real quickly, the podcast is a poppin'. Uh, Blind Talk Podcast. It's always linked near the top of the description down below. Um, I just did a silencer cleaning video, and today I'm uploading uh, the fall turkey hunting um, cut in Kansas this year. No fall turkey hunting. And over there we go over all the reasons, the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, but it is a good thing. And um, I figured I'd just do a podcast over and over there, being able to sit down for 10 or 20 minutes and discuss it and discuss the reasons and actually read their reasoning why. So go join the podcast. I'm giving away um, a hunt at the end of this month. Oh, one lucky guy gets to bring a buddy, his mama, his best friend, his wife, whoever with him. All you got to do is join the podcast. Get in there. There we go. Oh, ow. Bobby. Goodness. Oh. One just landed. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're decoying everywhere. I'm out of shells. <laughs> that, was, that was some rookie stuff looking like. <laughs> yeah, I'm tongue tied. That was some rookie looking, you know what? I got overwhelmed. 10 birds landed right on the freaking mojo. There's one. Oh. Oh, I got one. Oh boy, I'm going through shells. And his buddy landed beside him. Oh, did he just get up? What is going on with this thing? I hope that wasn't the one that the down that just flew away. Come on, Judge. Dead bird. Oh, there he is. Fetch him up. Good boy. Good. Oh, judge found him right away. Make sure. That is, in fact, the one. It is. Good boy. Oh, I should have shot him right there. He's coming back. Coming back. Nope. Tad gum. It's worth a shot. Well, just smoked one. Two more to go for the limit. That was a long lull, really long, like 25 minute lull. He did. Two more to go, guys. Judge. 
There we go. That's an awesome close shot. Fetch him up. Fetch it up. Hold here. Well, well, well. After struggle bussing <clears throat> quite badly, I decided to uh, pick up as I was walking out. I had my bucket, mojo, gun in one hand, no cameras going, shot cam was turned off, smoked one when I was almost out of the field. So, scratched him out. Check it out. That is one heck of a solo pile, y'all, with the pump Mossberg 500 410. Me and this gun, we don't. <laughs> We really don't get along that well, as you could see today. Um, when I would find my shot, um, it was really good. The left to right shooting, a lot better than the right to left. I completely sucked on the right to left. Uh, if I would have had my 12 gauge today with the silencer, we would have been done, literally, lickety split. But uh, it, was, it was not easy um, getting it done. It took way longer than I figured it would today, number one. Number two, I used way more shells than I thought I would need to. Thank God I didn't do the one box challenge or something like that, you know? We never would have got it done. But I am so ready for clients to be in this lodge. I am so pumped for this season. I can't see straight. I love when new clients show up and it's their first time in person seeing the lodge. They, uh, they automatically tell me every time, Bob, I've been watching your channel forever. Um, I watched you and Gerald build this place, but boy, is it way more impressive in person. That has been the number one automatic comment when uh, people show up for their first time and walk through that door. But guys, I do have some duck and goose hunts available November through February. November, December is closing up quickly. Get your spot while you can. Uh, January, February, decent dates left. Uh, we do have some cheaper packages. One being the duck shack is a little cheaper than the big lodge. And then on very limited dates, I have a farmhouse right down the road. It's actually the farmer, uh, one of his houses on the farm. Very nice, remodeled. Um, it will sleep four to seven guys, uh, private groups only in there and no meals. So it's a lot cheaper actually. And you're right down the road. We still clean all your birds. So fill out the booking form, sandhillflyways.com. If you are interested in coming to Kansas and hunting with me for three days, meals, beverages, snacks, everything provided. Like I said, we clean your birds. So they're legal to go across state lines for you. Sand Hill Flyaways, the podcast is always linked down below. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for always letting me know what you guys want to see. More content on the way. Drop a comment. Let me know what you want next. Thank you all. See you on the next one.